So you guys are welcome to this video. And today's video, I'll share a video from Binance to Bank Accounts of Africa. So before I proceed, I'll share if you like this video, subscribe to this channel, leave a comment in the comment section, share this video, and also contact us for some collaborations for the discussion of this video. So guys, let's proceed. So now first, head over to your Binance. Then now, so for this to know. So now after it has loaded, now you now need to tap on this three line icon on the top left side of your screen. So now, then tap on P2P. So now I just want to show you guys something first. If you tap on P2P now, you will see this. Um, you will see this. Um, top of your screen. Tap on it, this MWK. Then now select currency, just search for ZAR, which is South African Rand. Okay. Then I afraid and agreed. Okay. Confirm. Make sure then now refresh this. Okay. So now tap on on this USD section. Now you see currencies that are actually supported in the Binance P2P section. So now what I want to um, try to pass across to you if you have any currencies. Currently, that is not supported in this currency. Just head back, then head back, then come to this markets, then proceed to. Let me see. I have, um, for example, I have with okay, I have with with currency. I'll just sell it to USDT, okay, sell it to USDT, you know, any of those supported currencies, okay. Then, after selling it, now just come over to this top of my screen on the top left hand. Then now I'll now tap on P2P after selling it to USDT and um, my USDT has been my account. Make sure you also transfer the USDT from your sports to your funding. Okay, this is how you transfer. You just come over to wallet, tap on transfer, now select USDT, USDT, then transfer from sports to funding. Switch this spot to funding, input the amount, then confirm transfer. Then come over to this p2p okay then after doing that now just input the amount let me see i want to say 50 years and 50 years equivalent to let me see six thousand south african rounds okay i tap on confirm the reason i suggested this is that you need to filter this amount so as to say see seller selling within this your range if you don't do so um if you don't do so the um you only see sellers and this, most of these sellers that is on the first page of this binance the top of of this binance p2p session are people selling very huge amounts okay and maybe you want to sell something small so now just filter this so as to get advertisers selling within your range and after filtering this now the next thing which you need to do now is to now come over here then so select the seller okay this is what i recommend when selecting a seller look at the person trades this person has completed 236 trade with a 92 percent completion score okay as you can see and the person completes transfer within 30 minutes and his payment method is bank transfer so as you can see you see various users so now um to me okay let's see this guy 293 is this person completion score it completes within 15 minutes okay this is still a good seller so let me say i want to go with this guy for example or well, let me just see i'll just go with this guy over here this first guy bubble blitz i tap on sell or well, let me go with um what pt have a lot amount of trades that are committed at a high completion score and he supports a lot of payments but he completes payments leads so i'll just i can't i'll select aldo banks here um or well, let me just select this first guy bubble blitz tap on sell then now input the quantity the amount okay let me start to say 50 usdt or you can input the amount in your local currency let me see 1000 South African rands okay then after inputting this now you now need to tap on this payment this now add the bank transfer payment method so as the person will be able to pay you here okay but if you already have a payment method just select it then now tap on place order okay so after placing an order now the person now will now need to send you um grants to your bank account and you now need to release the usdt make sure you have seen the money in your bank account then proceed to head over to the other section and release the coin to the person okay to the buyer so that's just basically please don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment in the comment section share this video 
and also contact us for some collaborations and the description of this video so guys thanks for watching have a lovely day stay safe and i love you all peace